Howdy, caddies. Weekly walkabout time at the collector. We've been flat knacker. Got some bloody good stuff. Look at these toys. We'll wind up Mickey Mouse there from the 1930s sort of in his original box, made in Japan. It looks to be a copy of the Shuko one. Can't find out much about him, but he's a ripper. Lovely little sort of kid there, little snow sleigh. Miss Judith's speedboat's a cracker. This looks like sort of Brabham's little racer or something like that. Little celluloid tumbling clown is amazing. There'll be some cool little video clips I think Vanessa's going to do for the website and all the rest of it to show you how they work. Some great little bits. Bracelet over the back's really nice with little sort of uh, little gemstones rubbed in settings. Nice little lot. Really like the little bonzo pepper and the little sort of piggy salt shaker. Looks like some gold jewellery over the back in the box. A little ivory letter opener. Silver. Looks like silver and sort of costumey stuff. Ladies watch, this is cute, a little sort of bottle there with a snuff spoon in it. Some more nice sort of charms and silver and looks like a big ivory carved brooch in there as well. Nice little bits in the jewellery cabinet. These are a nice suite of hand coloured uh, restriped lithographs. Uh, after a Rudyard Kipling story, the tiger in the tub. Yeah, so we got a nice little art deco hall table there. Another nice little art deco sort of side table. Pretty cool, the old sort of educational map. A little mirror, a wine table with a bottle of wine in the mirror, Toshiba TV with some other stuff, a little retro coffee table underneath, it all's good. What else have we got? Superman's outfit with his boots, some good sort of buttons and jewellery and stuff, a lot of cut crystal and gear, a little jewellery box is cute, heaps of more sort of costume jewellery, ladies' hats, some nice big sort of oak frames from the 19 sort of 30s. Ladies boots and shoes and accessories, nice little lot of paintings, ladies shoes, I like this old MSD uh, sort of cash box, Got some great clothing this week, cool little sort of 1950s sort of party dresses, lumber jacket, these are fantastic, little sort of 70s uh, maxi skirts all with cool bubbles printed on the front or colours, blue ones cool with the diamonds, some of them have got original ladies Jackie someone or other, can't remember. These are pretty amazing as well, little sort of crochet knit, sort of little mini dresses. There's a great little um, singlet in amongst there and some other cool stuff. Cool gent shirts, jumpers, lady stuff, furs, etc. There you go, big group lot underneath as well, three boxes of stuff. Got a little lot of stereo gear. These are cool little ladies two-piece outfits, mostly with vests and a skirt. Light shades, scales. Pottery and ceramics, a little mixed lot here with a firebox and some other stuff. Looks like Paul Revere on his midnight ride. A little box of mixed bits and bobs there. Costume jewellery, some nice classical prints. Retro gear. What else have we got? Big group lot with the laundry basket, the pedestal and some other stuff. Boxes of china. Books and gear and bottles of medicinal stuff. A little retro rug and a string picture. Blokey gear, heaps of fishing stuff over in there and road maps in here. What else have we got? Chandeliers and stuff. Tools, baskets, more tools and gear underneath. Bit of light on the subject helps, thanks. Big box of toys and stuff. Cartman and his pals. Some wooden stuff. What else have we got? Some sort of modern classical prints. Cool little lot of retro furniture. The chair, the lamp and the little smoker stand. Tony Hawk Freestyle BMX. A couple of nice classical big frame prints. There's some more of them throughout the sale. Stacking chairs, DVDs, cassettes, videos. A little sort of luggage and that's a wig box there with some wigs inside it. Nice little lot of wooden items again. A little games table with a nice Victorian box and some little like letter sort of slots. Uh, china and glassware and crystal and stuff. Big boxes of tools and gear down the back. This is a big lot of gaming gear. Slot cars and other toys in amongst as well. Stereo, nice Yamaha system with a, what do we got, Luxman and Rotel componentry. Little Victorian fold over uh, card table top. Just needs a little base for it to go on. Some more nice big classical prints. These are oleographs, so they've got like clear coating over the top someone's painted to try and make it look like it's been painted. Pretty cool drags to bike there. He's a ripper. 
Yeah, so we got some really nice lots of china and stuff this week. Victorian gear. Nice big setting here. Some trains. Some other nice stuff down in the bottom corner there. A little collection of glass. Crystal. Some more nice glass and crystal up the top. Sort of jars and domestic -y sort of gear. Little box of Nintendo stuff. Clock sort of parts and bits and bobs. That's all this lady's accessories. Sunglasses and belts. Jewelry, games, little Derbyshire salt and pepper shakers in amongst here. Looks like there's a couple of them. Yeah, more classical prints. Little Victorian games tables, really cute. Nice little retro swivel chair that doesn't swivel. Ha! Put it with a lamp. This is an interesting little chair as well. Looks like it's got a Featherston base on it. And you go, but the top doesn't look Featherston. But it's a bit interesting. Big dining table. Nice pair of Victorian lustre, or Victorian style lustre lamps. They've got a little etched design in the shades. Big storm shades on them. Reproduction bronze. What else have we got? There you go. Nice old sort of country and western guitar. He's nice with the inlaid design in the neck and around the sort of hole. A little butterfly on top. And you get a free bonus Merv Gleason record with it. Look at him. My favourite bit. Yeah, sitting there with his smoke. What a champ. Merv. What else have we got? This is a nice big oil painting. It's just signed Cardinal. On the back it's got G Cardinal. So I did a bit of mucking around on Google and all I kept finding was Cardinal Pell. But anyway, so I couldn't find much reference to the artist, but geez, it's a bloody nice big thing. Some bosun's plaques with a lot of bits and bobs, Victorian-y type of stuff, Art Nouveau. John Bull, old cardboard advertising sign. A couple of cool little sort of 70s pine sculptures. He's really nice, the Art Deco mirror. And also got crystal, a little lot of Oz pottery up the top there. Big collection of Matchbox models ESG. It's a whole set of beers of the world. Pretty China. Glass and stuff. Great little lot of retro Acapulco Villaroy and Bock. Cool little retro phone. My favourite bit of the auction this week is this dog. It's like sort of one of those sort of three-dimensional images that actually sort of moves as you move. <laughs> Everywhere you go, he looks at you. Behringer amp, superhero gear, little boomerang, gaming stuff, box of cassettes, and some Merv Gleason records. All Coca-Cola diecasts, some great movie posters here. A pearl of the South Pacific, she's pretty damn hot. And what's this one, the last dinosaur or something? There you go. Some nice Lima train gear, tin toys, Australian pottery. Good little lot with the Vic Rail loco and the Vic Rail caboose, which you don't see very often. Australian National Railways loco. Good little lot of matchbox. Art glass, the Green Hornet. The bullet train. Got two engines and a carriage. Two more nice little uh, steam locos. Swap card album's pretty cool. It's got all kid stuff in it. So uh, you've got Flintstones and Strawberry Shortcake and the Muppets and stuff. What else? Audio Slave gig poster. A couple of nice light fittings. He's pretty cool. A little sort of balancing horse toy. Off he goes. A bit like Winx on the weekend. Crystal Stewart. Nice big trophy thing. Bits of pottery. Really nice tin over the back there with the peacock. More Australian pottery Diana. Ridgeways Vista wear. Big flow blue uh, bowl. The LARPing sword's pretty cool. It's just foam. He's a good breakdancing records, breaking and Sugar Hill Gang Rappers Delight. Nice old Victorian jelly moulds. More good toys and stuff here. A little lots of glass and crystal. Six million dollar man. Heaps of Playmobil dudes in amongst there as well. A little lot of matchboxes. More diecast. These are nice little frames. Czechoslovakian and Spode, I'm pretty sure. There's a nice little group lock. Kind of like this little glass lidded bowl. Little Minic steamroller and some little toy chickens. More Australian pottery. It's pretty cool. Little celluloid merry-go-round. Uh, the Matchbox models. Taste of France. These are pretty cool. A little sort of nursery lamp plus a Star Wars. You can knit your own Yoda or Stormtrooper. There you go. Polaroid 600 series cameras. What else have we got? This is a nice lot here. All these bits of glass are sort of. Uranium glass or fluorite or magnesium or something so they all glow. 
under a UV light. We've chucked some little bits of malachite in amongst there. It's a good little group. Disney, Johnson Disney uh, film strip projector in its box. Cool records. Van Halen, David Lee Roth. Dalton cabinet plates. Big dinner set down the bottom. It's a ripper. Nice little deco warming tea set. It's a really nice Wedgwood set with a big, huge sort of lazy Susan. More Dalton, more trains, more Dalton. Little deco Mayant pieces, lovely. It's a little bloody crack in the back of it, which is a bugger. Sharps toffee tins, really nice. Victorian glass, Victorian ceramics. Roll Dalton cabinet plates. Oz pottery, more good quality English. Really like the Brettby handled vase over the back. A bit of candyware, some Dalton Norfolk pattern. It's a little reproduction uh, bronze of a Chaparis. I got down the bottom. This is a nice little brass nude there. This one's a reproduction. Lovely pair of sort of Edwardian vases. Some Victorian ruby glass. It's a really nice big spode, I think it is. Copeland spode or something like that. Big spode dinner set again. Really nice. Very good quality. Uh, another lovely Victorian little part dinner set there. Some nice Art Deco Dalton. Little doll. The computerized automobile's damn cool. It's got these little blue discs that you put in it, and when you put it in, it does a different, it sort of drives a different way or steers a different way. So you've got these little sort of, yeah, blue discs that actually control it. You can interchange them. Beautiful big unmarked Wedgwood cheese bell. Uh, Murano glass. A couple more nice little bits of Dalton. Have a nice little doll. Some lovely Victorian ruby flash cut. More nice trains. The Porsche 917 is a ripper. A little wind-up tin toy elephant's ace. A little Spitfire on an ashtray. Yeah, so we've got Dalton, another fantastic little toy there, a little Mercedes police car, a little Moorcroft dish. And we've got it at the top. Happy Hayseed, the Metoy, little wind up, sort of galloping. <laughs> a little tractor and drive is fantastic. A Japanese figure over the back's really nice. Gouda, a Chinese Clisone, a nice little Triang Minic, I think it is, little sports car. Number two, Minic. These are a nice pair of Victorian porcelain figures. They are marked at the base, also signed on the back as well. What else have we got? Another nice little bit of Gouda. Clara's Cliff Cup. More good trains. The Flying Scotsman, another. It's a really nice bit of Japanese Satsuma over the back there. Uh, World War One artillery shell being sort of shaped and turned into a vase. Beautiful lot, this Bohemian glass jug and the pair of glasses. All the gilding's hand done. Portraits are all hand done on the front as well. Really, really beautiful little lot. There's some bloody good stuff this week, guys. Hopefully you saw something you liked. You know me, though. I don't really care if you did or if you didn't. It's going to be a good sale. We'll see you on Thursday night.